So here you see the Catalyst control center with your welcome screen. You basically do everything in this version and the previous version from the graphics tab. Um, when you look at these names, they're not very descriptive. I've um, expressed my displeasure at the Catalyst Control Center last September when the 5800 series came out when I reviewed it and how to set up an Ifinity display. You know, if I want to set up an Ifinity, to, Ifinity group, do I go to Displays and Desktops? Do I go to Desktop Properties? Do I go to Display Options? Um, if I want to change resolution, if I want to change orientation, if I want to change anti-aliasing, there's nothing here that's really very descriptive. You basically have to hunt and peck and figure out the naming convention that ATI came up with and then just remember it. So, th so this is the first time I'm looking at the new Catalyst Control Center. Um, over here is a Preferences button. There is hotkeys, always on top. Enable the system tray menu, select the language, restore defaults. Uh, follow Windows Scheme. There is an advanced view, um, an about option, and then to visit the AMD website. From here, you'll see that things are broken up into uh, really four major sections here. You have desktops and displays, which is desktop management, my digital flat panels, Hydrovision, advanced display settings. Under video, we have video color video quality, AMD video converter. Under gaming, we have gaming performance and image quality. And then under performance, we have uh, clock controls. So I'm gonna start here under desktops and displays. And if I just click that block, I come in here and under desktop management, I can create and arrange displays. And so I'm back here. Um, with the view that we saw before that we're used to seeing in the Catalyst Control Center. And you can see here we have a breadcrumb trail that allows us to go back um, all the way back to the start. So from here I could just go back to desktop management um, and it gives you an explanation and I find out here that in creating and arranging desktops that allows me to create an iFinity group. Desktop properties which is size, refresh rate, color and rotation, we'll take a look at that. Um, I could select the second desktop. You can see here how it gives you the options to go back and forth. Under desktop color, you can see here that we can customize the color. We can do it per panel so that if you have different panels you can match them. So again, we're here at desktop management. I'm going to go back two displays and desktops. So under gaming, um, under gaming performance, we have the standard 3D settings. And this looks like the old um, anti-aliasing. And you can tell to use custom settings. And, and this appears here just to be a, um, a balance between performance and quality. And for AMD Overdrive, again, here's where you can look at your temperatures, your activity, um, and your clock frequencies if you enable Overdrive. For image quality here specifically, you can see options for anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. You can see that the uh, the graphic there is adjusting, and then here's the option for morphological filtering, anti-aliasing mode. Again, we saw this previously, or a similar screen, and then here's the the anisotropic filtering. So we'll back down the gaming, and the one last thing here is performance, and it's just another way to get to the clock controls in. Um, in overdrive. Now one thing I do know from having been briefed on this is say you want to have the anti-aliasing handy in your list here you can click this pin and then this option will be here for you on the left hand side pinned. Um, you can come back and unpin and it'll uh, not be there. 
here's the presets that I set before. Um, so the Catalyst Control Center did pick that up. If we go to Advanced View real quick, you can see that it basically takes everything and moves it here to the left hand side, more along the lines of what NVIDIA does with its treed or nested folders view. So if you click Gaming, you would get 3D application settings. Um, if you click Performance, you have Overdrive there. And then from in here, basically get everything in one long list rather than bouncing back and forth between different settings. This would have been equivalent to the, the All button at the top in the old Catalyst Control Panel. So here again we have the Use Application Settings. If you undo that, where you can go between 8, 4, and 2x, you can use the Morphological. So everything is still, is still pretty much here, and it's just a different way to go about it. So for the advanced view, it seems to be somebody who already knows their way around, um, knows what the options mean, and then for the standard view here, it's somebody who wants to walk through and get a little more explanation from talking with AMD that this is just the first big splash. They're going to be doing a lot with how, um, how this is presented, more updates, specifically around how iFinity is set up and handled. It would certainly be nice to get an iFinity option specifically here in the left nav or the left side. And then here on the standard view, uh, you know, to have an option for affinity.